I'm Mark Allen, Mr. Saltwater Tank, coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. And today, I'm talking about the Hydros launch. But before we get into that, if you're wondering why my face looks like a teenage high school boy, um, that's because when you go hot tubbing outside in the summer, you have to deal with these things called mosquitoes that I don't have to deal with when I go hot tubbing in the winter. So, yeah, I got eaten alive. With that, though, you're not here to hear about my face. You're here to hear about the launch. What is this thing? Why am I so excited? Well, I'm partially excited because I finally got my hands on one. First saw this launch at Reef of Palooza Orlando. I did a full interview with Coralview about it. If you want to watch that interview, the link is down in the description. What is the launch? Think of it as a controller and a monitoring unit all put together in one box. I've got four 110 volt outlets, heaters, return pumps, protein skimmers, lights, anything that runs on 110 volts goes in here. We have a zero to 10 volt in. This is for using things like button boxes, toggle switches, physical toggle switches. You wanna put around your tank, like if you wanna initiate a feed mode, things like that. We have four drive ports down here on the bottom. This is gonna be powering lower voltage pumps, top off pumps, things like that. We don't need a power brick. We don't have to sacrifice one of our 110 volt outlets to drive one of those things because the drive ports are built right in the unit. We have two command bus ports. This is for linking the launch to other Hydros modules that you may want, like the X4, XP8. That's the bank of eight controllable outlets. You do that here. We have four sense ports, water on floor, water level sensors, things like that go here. We have a PH or ORP port here. And then for you advanced reefers, people wanting even more out of your system, we have a salinity port here for the salinity probe. I have a salinity probe. I'm gonna be setting that up, talking about it, testing it out in a future video. So keep an eye out for that. So that is the launch. This is a great way to get into a monitoring and control system, get into the hydro secret system if you've been on the sidelines looking at things, maybe even a little scared. This is a great entry point for you. I'm excited to have my hands on one. I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to set this thing up, and then I'm gonna put it on my tank to show you how I'm using it on my system. Now, I have a thousand gallon tank. Don't let that take you out. I could see using this on even something like a nano system. It's gonna work great. I'm just gonna show you how I'm using it on my tank. First thing that I'm going to do is go into the Hydros app. We're just gonna go up here to the dots and hitting the plus sign, and then it's gonna come here, and here it is. It's already found it for me. And then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna get it on my Wi-Fi network. This is a very easy thing to do. I'm gonna put it over here. Here is the password, I'm gonna copy and paste that. I'm gonna name this thing, submit, let this go for a second, it's gonna connect, register the thing on the cloud, and then I'm gonna know that it's all installed and ready to go. Now that I have the launch on my Wi-Fi network, it's time to add it to my Hydros Collective. Now, if you don't know what a collective is, that's okay, because you may not need it. 10,000 foot version of a collective is that it's a great way to add redundancy to your system. However, it really only makes sense if you have multiple Hydros modules. One Hydros module, you don't really need a collective. So if you just are getting the launch, you can skip this part of the video about the collective. Or if you want to learn about it, I did a whole deep dive video on what a collective is and how to set it up. For now, I'm going to give you the cliff note version. But again, if you're just going to run the launch, you don't need to worry about the collective. Know that the collective part of the video is an optional step. Think of a collective as the cool kids on the playground. You've got all these cool kids hanging out together, talking to one another, and anything outside the collective is the guy who got, guy or girl, who got picked last. When you're in a collective, you're sharing information, you all are all tuned in. So in the Hydros world, collective is all the devices inside of your Hydros ecosystem. And this is where the Hydros system really shines. Every Hydros system, every Hydros module per se, on your whole system can access the internet. So in my system, I'm gonna have a launch, I have an XP8, I'm gonna have an X4. All of those can access the internet. If one of those modules goes down for whatever reason, the other ones say, hey, we're on the Cool Kids Network, that person's having problems, we're gonna take over, we're gonna jump on to the Wi-Fi, grab the Wi-Fi, and then first let me know that there's something wrong with my collective, one of those modules is down, and it's gonna carry on as normal. So just because one module goes down, the whole collective, my whole system doesn't come crashing down because there's no central brain. So by getting my launch on my collective, it says, hey, 
it's part of the cool kids crowd, you're with us, and it's giving another way for my hydro system to connect to the internet so that I can have access to it even if one module's going down. Now that the physical connections are made, I'm gonna add it to my collective. First, I'm gonna go down into my collective. I see the Hydros launch is here, so I'm confirmed that the Hydros can see it. And then I go back here and see devices. So these are the devices in my collective. I don't have the launch there, which is expected because I haven't added it yet. To add it, I just click on the plus button. Hydros device, boom, there it is, it sees it. Wi-Fi master priority, you can leave this as normal but I wanna make this as the preferred connection to my Wi-Fi network. I'm just gonna do upload changes, wait for this to write through the system. <laughs> that was fast. And then I'm gonna come back here and go to my collective. You can see that the Hydros launch is now gone because it is part of my collective. I can verify that as well, go into devices. There it is, it's inside my collective. Now it's set up, but why does it have it upset? upside down smiley. All right, the launch is set up. It's inside my collective. So if the launch goes down for any reason, the other modules inside of my hydro system are gonna grab onto my Wi-Fi network, send me an alert, let me know that something's wrong with my launch. But the really beauty of this is my whole thing doesn't come crashing down because there's no central brain. So now I've got the launch, I've got an XP8, and then I've got an X4. I've got 8, 12, gotta do my math there, 12 controllable outlets between the launch and the XP8. I've got all kinds of probe ports so I can run my calcium reactor, I can have a separate pH for the tank, I can have an ORP, I've got that salinity probe, I'm gonna talk about that in a future video. And then what's gonna happen is your reefer buddy's gonna want one too. Jimmy's already calling me saying, how did you get one before I got one? Sorry Jimmy, I've been here longer than you. That's how he wants one too. So there you have it, there is the Hydros launch put this thing out there, let it run for a while, keep you updated on how I'm interacting with it, how it's doing, and of course I have that salinity probe as well for those of you wondering about that. I'm gonna set the thing up, let it run for a while, and I'll touch base back with you about how that salinity probe is operating on my tank. I'm Mark Cowling, Mr. Saltwater Tank, coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. Till next time, enjoy your tanks, have some kind of monitoring device on your system, if nothing else, at least do that, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Mm -hmm.